هاي زيز هلا 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 It's my birthday. We're going to brunch now. Whew, all right. I just woke up from a nap. It was beautiful. Um. <laughs> Uh, so now I'm rested and I feel very pro well. Okay, I was gonna say I feel productive, but I haven't actually done anything yet. But I feel energized so I can be productive. Uh, so now I'm actually getting ready to shoot um, a vlog, uh, and I'm trying to actually figure out what to call this series. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But this is when I'm like talking t to the camera about something dance related, so like the tips or um, discussion. And this time I'm actually gonna talk about um, like. That the idea of like um, when do you reach your peak as a dancer? Um, it's just like a professional dance. Like when when is it too late to start or when do you need to stop? Um, that kind of thing. And I think it's relevant because I'm 25 now, and so you know as you get older, you know, you start to wonder like oh like am I getting too old for this? You know have I reached my goals yet? That kind of thing. So just to show you guys kind of what my setup is, I have this one light behind me, just like a little bit of backlight, just like a teeny bit, it doesn't do much, but just a, you know, a little something. And then my two main lights are these, which my friend Aiden sold to me right before he moved to LA. So they're pretty good uh, for constant lights. I'm very happy with them. And then I have my tripod, and my main camera's right here. And then what I usually do is, uh, I have my notes on this big monitor, here so I can read off it to remind me what I need to do but lately my computer's been making this weird whirring noise which picks up from the mic so I think I'm gonna either write it down or use my phone for my notes uh, but then I control everything from my phone so I can see if I'm in frame and all that kind of stuff and to start and stop the recording uh, and then I have this little recorder and lav mic that I use on myself and in post, I sync up the audio. Um, that the audio is probably the one thing I definitely want to improve next, just because uh, I, the sound quality still isn't great, and I have to do more research. But I think I need to, I need to get a better recorder. Yeah, I mean, and a better mic. So like the mic is like a five dollar one I got off of Amazon, but uh, I think the recorder would make a bigger difference. I'm not sure. I'm still researching that part. But uh, oh, just to show you guys because these lights are really pretty. So this is when they're off, and when I switch it on, okay, where's it? Voila. And uh, so now there's all this light. Oh, look at that. So I'm uh, I have to go over my notes a little bit more, maybe write up a couple more things, and then record it. And then uh, I'm going out tonight with my parents. They're taking me out. A little special date. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Possibly sleeping. Or cleaning my room. Or doing my taxes. Because, you know, I'm an adult now. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but my parents are talking downstairs. And I'm worried about it picking up in the recording. <laughs> um, and usually it's not an issue because I'll record like late at night when everyone's kind of asleep. Or at least you're never going to be on the phone, you know, like, who would you call at 11 p.m.? But I was trying to be productive and record earlier in the day. And, uh, now we can see why I shouldn't do that. Date night with my parents. I could pick anywhere I wanted to go, and I chose Silver Diner. <laughs> I love diner food. It's 9.30, so the last couple of things for my birthday. I'm back at College Park, as you can maybe see. But uh, Culture Shock is hosting some workshops today, and so the last one starts at 9.45, is being taught by JP and Will. And I just thought, who called me out? Hi, Gabby. Oh, he's here. But, um, interrupting my vlog. But, um, but yeah, I saw that they were taking the classes, and like I'm free, and I haven't taken class I think since I graduated college, like hip hop, modern, anything. So I was like, why not? Let's treat myself. I'm probably gonna be sore tomorrow, 
but I really miss taking class and I do need to start training again. Um, my stamina is terrible. I have no idea what my you know pickup is like now. So it should be really fun and challenging. Um, their choreography is kind of hard, so we'll see how this goes today. Being cute. <laughs> what is this for? Like we're at the registration table for Culture Shock's second community workshop. Uh, leadership edition, that's what it's called. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Happy to Hi. Hey. What's your name? Mo. Mo, what? Monique Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you with? Um, today, Culture Shock. And what did you do today? Um, we had a community workshop the leadership edition, and I got to teach a heels piece, and it was great. It was it's great. great. My feet hurt. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is William Miller Jr. What organization are you with? I'm a part of Culture Shock Washington, D.C. Do you hold a position within Culture Shock DC? Yes, I'm the Chief Artistic Director of Culture Shock DC. <laughs> and what's that experience like being the Chief Director? Um, it's been a bit of a transition. I served as a captain last season, so the responsibility load is a lot more. But um, I think serving as a captain has definitely prepared me to take on the role of Director. I feel like maybe given another month or so, I will fully transition into the responsibilities of the position. How do you hope to change Culture Shock DC uh, while you're a leader, or what would your goal be for the season? Um, to cultivate a spirit of fearlessness within the dancers. I feel like um, I really want Culture Shock DC season 15 dancers to really be fearless about their ideas, you know, about themselves as artists, and to really feel it empowered through dance. So really, just cultivating that experience for them to be a major goal. Also to just be innovative, to think outside the box, to be creative, to not constrict your thoughts, constrict your ideas, constrict your movement. So really just creating that environment for everyone to feel safe to share and be themselves. And in three words, can you tell me what dance means to you? Ooh, dance means to me freedom, self, and expression. Thank you, William. Thank you. Thanks for the class. You're welcome. Woo! Thank you, Jonathan, for coming. I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Whoa, we got Nubi in the camera. Hey. We're in front of the vlog. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm vomiting. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That class was so much fun. It felt so good to move again. And in general, like Johnny and Will, like their movement always feels good on my body. So it was really nice. I feel like I'm really sore tomorrow though, so I need to make sure I stretch out tonight. But uh, I'm gonna see, I think Matt and Colette are still here. So we're gonna get, go get milkshakes. They don't know that I just got milkshakes with my parents, but it's okay. Cause you can never have too many milkshakes. <laughs> It's 140, so I guess it's not my birthday anymore. Um, but yeah, today was really awesome. I So we went to brunch in the morning, then I came home, and I was going to clean my room and do some work, but I fell asleep instead. So got a good nap in. 
and then I went to dinner with my parents. Then I took class for the first time. I think it was like, it's definitely the first hip hop class at least that I've taken since graduating. So it's been over a year now, which is kind of crazy and not good, but it felt really awesome. Uh, thanks Johnny for the class. And uh, I got to do a solo at the end. So that was really awesome. And then got some more milkshakes and fries with Matt and Colette. And then I'm home. So I'm just really grateful for everything that uh, God has blessed me with. I mean, it's crazy to think back where I was a year ago when I was just turning 24 and how much stuff I've accomplished and how, how all the awesome people I've been able to meet and interact with and dance with and create with and fellowship with um, just in this past year. Uh, and I guess I'm really turning old because this was the first birthday where uh, one of my first thoughts was, oh wow, like, I don't feel older per se today, but I started thinking back right away to all the things I've done before um, that got me to this point. Versus most other birthdays were like, oh, I don't feel any different, you know, okay, moving on. Um, but yeah, I'm just really grateful for uh, everything that I have right now, you know, especially my parents. Uh, they've always been so supportive, especially being an Asian, um, but one, being homeschooled, and then having parents who really support me um, dancing and creating, and you know, that's very against the grain. So that's a huge blessing. Um, so yeah, birthday festivities aren't quite over yet because tomorrow I'm supposed to be doing birthday rounds after church with Chris. Justin and Brandon. So uh, I'll explain what that is if you don't know what that is later in this video, I guess, once we're actually there. So until then, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Um, oh, actually, I have a question. So let me know what you think in the comments. How do you count your birthday? Is it from like, okay, so like I'm born March 4th, right? So would you count it from like midnight to midnight? Or would you, would you count it like from when you wake up to when you fall asleep or to th like the time of your birth and 24 hours from there um because like for me for example i was born at 801 a.m so my mom like she never tells me happy birthday before that she always comes in right after 801 she's like happy birthday um so i've always kind of counted my birthday actually like 801 until midnight but if you're born at like 11 55 p.m that doesn't really work uh so i'm just curious how do you guys celebrate your birthdays? Let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go sleep now.